When people have asked me this week who our Sunday sit-down guest is, and I tell them Jeff Bridges, they've almost all smiled and said, the dude. That character has become a folk hero since The Big Lebowski was released 20 years ago. Partly because the dude's laid-back vibe seems to fit so well with the man who plays him. Bridges was born into a Hollywood family, and over a 60-year Oscar-winning career, his talent and a personal dude-like zen have made him a favorite of both audiences and the actors he works with. Jeff and I got together here in New York for a Sunday sit-down to talk about his latest movie and the legend of the dude. Jeff Bridges still has the touch, 20 years after the dude became a legend while hanging around a bowling alley and drinking white Russians. I'm the dude, so that's what you call me. People who know you have said previously that there is a little bit of Jeff in the dude. Well, uh, you know, smoking reefer and that kind of stuff. You mind if I do it, Jay? 50% of the clothes the dude wears came out of my closet. Oh, is that true? Sure. The sweater? No, that was what, but the, the jellies, the shoes, yeah. those are mine, you know, a couple of shirts, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Despite outward appearances, though, Bridges doesn't always share the dude's level of chill. I'm, ba I'm basically a nervous guy. I'm kind of nervous now, man. I'm nervous. No. You know. Oh, yeah. I can, are, you? Are, are you a little nervous? You have no nerves? You're per perfectly calm now? Well, you are you make me calm because you have the oh, zen yeah, well, that see, sort of emanates actor, from you. Man, I'm an Academy Award winning <laughs> actor that can do that to people, but I'm nervous. <laughs> so it's all an act. It's all an act. <laughs> the 68-year-old Bridges has been honing that act on screens big and small since he was a boy. He was born and raised in Los Angeles as the middle of three children with famous parents, the actors Dorothy and Lloyd Bridges. Was there ever a chance, Jeff, that you were not going to be in show business? Well, it was up to my dad, no, and I think it was up to my dad because he just kept edging me that way, you know. Lloyd gave his grade school son his first big acting gig on the series Sea Hunt. There's still some there! Where? And uh, I remember him coming up to me and saying, hey, you want to come play with dad, you know, get out of school. And so he got me, he lured me in and, uh, you know, I got bit by it uh, and I'm, I'm kind of hooked, you know. Long before they co-starred in the fabulous Baker Boys, Jeff and big brother Bo performed together any way they could. Bo had this brilliant idea. He decided to rent a flatbed truck and we would pull into a supermarket and then our father had taught us how to you know, fake fight, stage fight. And people thought it was real until the cops came. And then we would try to incorporate the cops into some kind of improv, like they were part of the show. <laughs> they, they were digging that too much. And we said, no, we're out of here, officer. And we jumped in our truck and went to the next supermarket. And oh, so we, it was a traveling show. Well, we played the supermarket circuit. <laughs> the supermarket circuit quickly turned into the awards circuit. At just 22 years old, Bridges earned his first of seven Academy Award nominations for his role in the 1971 film, The Last Picture Show. She's never gonna marry you. She is, by God, don't you tell me she won't. I can remember getting that call about three, three or four in the morning. You've been nominated for an Academy Award. What? You know, it was just kind of uh, out of the blue. I, I was just blown away. In 1975, Bridges starred in the Western Rancho Deluxe. It wasn't a big commercial hit, but it turned out to be the most important movie he's ever made. That's the one I met my, my sweet wife, Sue, on. So paint the picture for me. You're sitting in a hot tub somewhere in Montana. I'm doing a scene with Sam Waterston and uh, Harry Dean Stanton, and I cannot take my eyes off this gorgeous, I didn't know what she was, a maid, or a waitress, I couldn't take my eyes off a gorgeous girl with two black eyes and a broken nose. That's such the position of that, you know, disfigurement and the beauty would get at me. And I finally, you know, got my courage to ask her out, and uh, she said no. <laughs> I said, really? She says, no. I'm uh, a small town. Maybe I'll see you around. And she came down to the rap party. Right. And we danced and, you know, fell in love and boom. That was it. Uh, I have a photograph of that moment. When you met? When we met and my wife saying no and somebody just took a picture of that. And 
I have that. After his breakout in the 70s, Bridges played a wide range of roles. He was a futuristic computer programmer in Tron, an alien in the Oscar-nominated Starman, a sadistic kidnapper in The Vanishing, and the down-and-out country singer Bad Blake in Crazy Heart. I'm not going to forget about you. I'm not going to forget about this day. Bridges is selective in the roles he takes. His latest is Father Flynn in the noir film Bad Times at the El Royale. I do my best not to work, okay? You know, <laughs> that's, that's my M.O. But when you get a script like this, <laughs> you're on board, you know. How'd you end up at the El Royale? The Ritz Carlton was booked. How do you describe Father Flynn, your character? Who is he? Well, uh, he's, uh, he's a priest who's not a priest. In this m movie, there are so many surprises. Nobody is what they seem in this movie. I'm not really a priest. When I first got the script, uh, I read that thing about page 15. I was saying, wow, what is going on, <laughs> man? I would you know, go back a couple of pages and say, yeah, yeah. And it just kept doing that all the way to the end, giving me surprises, you know. And those are the kind of movies that I love to see when the filmmaker is a little bit ahead of you, you know. After a lifetime in Hollywood and some 90 roles under his belt, Bridges knows there's one that will always be with him. If you were defining your career by the dude, will you be good with that? <laughs> sure, oh yeah. What a wonderful movie. I'm so proud to be a part of it. If you had to be defined by somebody, the dude's a pretty good yeah, one. That's not bad. Yeah. Jeff's new movie, Bad Times at the El Royale, is in theaters this weekend. And our thanks to Fishbowl at the Dream Hotel Midtown for hosting us there. Jeff is a busy man. He also has a new documentary called Living in the Future's Past that's out now.